too. Is that bone? That's bone. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah, it's a metallic hip replacement for a cow. I think we got. Are you digging up coffee, coffee money? <laughs> I think that's really what's in there. Well, hey everybody, myself and George are out for a quick dig because it's in the 90s and uh, we're gonna maybe tickle a couple different locations and George just in the parking lot here. Got a coin signal maybe? Yeah, or something. But you know what, it's almost one of those I don't want to dig but it's all gravel. Yeah, sounds good. I'm not digging it. <laughs> Memorial, clad, scratchy 75, had a feeling. Right there, that's what it was. Right there. I thought it was plastic. It's a piece of aluminum sheet metal. Is that a motorcycle in the woods? Oh, it is. It's a 1914 Indian. <laughs> <laughs> it, is a, it is a motorcycle. Well, you just never know what you'll find out here, Charlie. All right. After you just wanted to check this spot real quick as he was here early today, but it's uh, full of aluminum siding and trash. Yeah, and it's literally a 60-foot strip beside the building, so we're heading back to our turf, and we're going to go look for some relics in the woods. All right, so what George and I are doing is we're returning to a cellar hole on our big permission here. We actually haven't detected this in years, because we didn't find much when we were here a long time ago, but we figured after all this time, let's give it another shot. Lead. Oh, you're kidding me. But solid signal, I mean, means we passed it up before. Nice job. No idea. That's what I dug. That was under the surface of the leaves a few feet over. Here we go. Classic moment. I swing over this. George says, Piece of lead. Not gonna dig it. I dig it and we finally have a relic from this site. I think our first. Yep. Beautiful symbol. That's gorgeous. Yep, yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, because it is a first. It is because you did dig an Indian head penny, but it was up the hill there, yeah. Right. And the hole is uh, right there, so not far. Very nice. Nice find. Yeah. We just dug a bunch of lead shotgun shells. I dug a ketchup packet and then this. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, it's encouraging. So, as you can imagine, it's been. Uh, desirable to want to find something here. The cellar hole predates the 1800s establishment that's on the property now, um, but because it's the closest one to the road, it's just loaded with junk. And I can imagine four or five years ago when we were here, we just turned around and said, nah, but now's the time. And this is exactly, I clean it up for you a bit. This is exactly what it happened last time. Just digging all kinds of stuff like this. That's, you know, a key ring. I remember these growing up as a kid. So, either way, the excitement's there. We're finding things. Oh, it is suspension. Isn't that something? Nice, George. Yeah, right there. 52. Nice sharp 52, though. Yeah, yeah. Very good. 62. Maybe it's the other half. Nope. What? Oh, it's 
that bone? That's bone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a metallic hip replacement for a cow. <laughs> That's not what we did. <laughs> it looks like a femur. Wait a minute. That was a great line for the opening clips. Is that bone? <laughs> There you go. You have a piece of it. Yes. Look at that. Good job, man. Look at that. Huh? The other half of it. And what was it? A foot away. Yeah. Real good job, George. Look at that baby. Got some bling on it. Reunited. All right. Since we have such little time and it's extremely hot, clips are a little bit short. George is chasing signals and he just found this beautiful piece of plate. That's a nice shard. And I just extracted from under this big rock one of these. Look at that, Charlie. Look at that. Oh, wow. Wow, that is a beautiful piece. Isn't that great? Look at the riverboat. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Nice. All this while chasing a 65 in this gopher hole. I know. Let's <laughs> see what you get. That's a nail. That could have been it. More bone. Mm. It's a small rivet with actually a little piece of leather. Mm. Interesting, huh? That's it. Oh, there it is. It's another one. It's. It's literally stapled animal. It's a rivet with leather, but how odd is that? We never find this with actual bone. <laughs> well, that's an assortment hole. What was it? It's a, it looks like a strike plate, okay. or whatever they call that, for a door lock. That sounds much better. Oh, nice. Look at that. A harmonica reed. <laughs> the Christmas hole. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> the Christmas hole. Great episode title. <laughs> All kinds of gifts. Let's try it again, right? Yeah, that's right. Scan over it again. Wow. Amazing. What did I say? Check it again. Right? You just never know. Right. Yeah, another rivet. So interestingly, just like you digging down deeper, yep. you come up with shards. I bet you those signals were deeper than my coil was hearing, but... Because I didn't hear that harmonica read, that yeah. squeaky. What are we, uh, four feet from the edge of the hole? Yeah. Well. Well, this could very well be the near to the end of our quick dig because it's getting dark. It's thundering. And it's probably gonna rain. Bottle cap and you got what, a big chunk of metal? A big chunk of sheet metal. Nice. What do you think, one more or should we run? I think we should run. We should run, okay. All right, everybody, well, thanks for joining us. Quick digs with FG are the best. No mm -hmm. expectations, we just go out, have fun, cruise around the neighborhood. Yeah, and we picked up some stuff today. We too. did pick up some cool stuff today. Yeah. And I want to thank you for the title of the video. Oh, yeah. The Christmas it Hole. Seemed that way, didn't it? Yes. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't advise anybody actually Googling that title to see what comes up because <laughs> I'm sure the results will vary. This was good. This was interesting. A lot of fun. Yeah. Let's get out of the thunder shower here. So we're going to leave before lightning strikes. So see you soon. Until next time, enjoy your knot. Thursday.